Okay, so one of the things I've been wanting to do uh, is mount my laptop, okay, that I use for the tuning and the logging uh, somewhere a little more convenient so that I can get to it when I'm in the, you know, driver's seat. So, so I kind of want the laptop in, in this general area right here, okay? Because when it's down here, it's kind of hard for me to reach and especially when you're, um, you know, strapped in or whatever. So I kind of want to get the laptop in this area and I'm going to try to fabricate something using this piece of uh, bar stock here and kind of hook it to these bolts, the seat bolts. I'm going to kind of hook it to there and maybe bend it up and then over make like a little shelf here and run some brackets this way to fit the laptop. Okay, so I measured um, across the two bolt holes that were the, uh, the seat brackets and um, I made a mark on this here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat it up a little bit so that I know, because I want kind of like a tight bend, I don't want it to be a real swooping bend. So by heating it up in that one spot right here, um, it, it'll, it'll weaken it just enough to where I can get a good like 90 degree bend. So let me do that. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm going for here. Um, this is gonna bolt to that. So I gotta make some holes, and then you can see as it bends up, and then that's gonna come kind of, see, kind of like this and back this way at an angle. And then we're gonna have to make some kind of a platform for this. So you guys kind of see where I'm headed with this. So um, let me take some more measurements and um, let's see where we end up. Okay, so um, I got the bracket mounted uh, just temporarily to take some more measurements, but uh, you can kind of see where I'm going with it. Uh, just use the stock bolts that were, uh, you know, normally hooked to the seat and put them on here with a few washers. I put a few washers underneath just to kind of get this up above the carpet. So, so I need to go ahead and figure out something here to kind of bend this this way. And kind of just see where I want a, the laptop to sit. Yeah. This is gonna, I'm kind of going for like what you see in cop cars, you know, like they uh, have their laptop kind of sitting off to the side, you know, uh, but I have to also make it secure to where, you know, during a run, it's not gonna move around, but I also want it to have a little bit of like, um, shock absorption too, you know, so you're, so it doesn't beat the laptop up. So this laptop here, uh, I picked it up from Dell specifically for just the car. So I have nothing else on this laptop at all. Um, it was like a 299 or something like that. And, um, I bought it just specifically to leave in the car and only use it for the, uh, the, uh, ECU master. So yeah, so let me go ahead and take a few more measurements, try to get this sitting the way I want, and then I gotta come up with some kind of a bracket to hold, hold the laptop. So let me keep working. Okay, so here's what I have so far. Um, I got this piece mounted. Um, well not, it's not bolted, but uh, cut right around there. Um, I cut another little bracket that's gonna, it's, it's gonna kinda sit at an angle. So I cut an angle in it so that it sits kind of like this basically so it's facing the driver if you kind of see what I'm saying like if you look at this straight down it's gonna be facing me so and then that I got a couple of cross brackets that's gonna to mount to it like so which I measured and it lines up with these pads here on the laptop and then uh, I'm just gonna run a strap around it basically so yeah, I don't know. It's uh, not exactly what I had in mind. I hopefully it um, it's sturdy. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Um, 
but this laptop is really light so I, and it's not carrying much weight so let me weld it together and we'll see if I don't like it it's not really a big deal because this is just kind of these are just scraps I had laying around I kind of like to utilize stuff I have uh, you know to make these little fun these little projects you know so but uh, let me weld it and then let's take a look at it again So we got it burnt in. Um, I don't, there's no need to go all the way across on that. I just uh, did four tacks on each one. And that's, that's gonna be plenty strong. So uh, let me get the other piece and I'll kind of uh, show you how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I got it uh, welded up and I'm, I kind of preliminary set it in there just to see what it looks like. And uh, it's kind of big and I don't know if I'm really that happy with it, but uh, I guess the best thing to do would be to tighten it down and um, kind of take a look at it from the driver's seat and see how it looks. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and do that and um, we'll, we'll sit in the driver's seat and then take a look at it and see if it looks too weird. Okay, so I got it mounted, I think the way I want it. So let's sit in the seat here and then this will be the my view um, right here. So it's kind of angled towards me a little bit. Uh, and the screen can, you know, when we're, we're whatever, data logging or whatever like that, I can leave it up or I can put it down, whatever. Um, but it's a little bit wobbly. So what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to have to, you can see it's kind of, I just have like bungee cords holding it down right now. It's the best I can think of to hold it down, you know, without damaging the laptop. So right now it's sitting on its feet under here on these little brackets, but... It's still a little bit too wobbly, so I may put a brace from here to there, which would basically get rid of a lot of that. I mean, I want it to have a little bit of play like that so that it it's kind of absorbed shock, but that's a little too much. That's gonna be flopping around a lot. So let me see what I can come up with as far as a bracket that goes this way, and um, we'll go from there. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna come up with. Maybe something that's uh, a piece of tube or something. I don't know. Let me see what I have. All right. So I think I got it finished uh, other than painting it. So I've added a little extra bar here for a little bit more um, rigidity so it doesn't move around as much, but it still moves, but not quite as bad as it did before. So that's tolerable. And plus, you know, when you're making a run or something like that, you're going to have it down. So, you know, it's going to move a little bit, but I mean, it's not like it's going to go anywhere you know before I used to have it just sitting on the floorboard here and when I was done with the run the the laptop would be in the back here like up against this this little firewall here <laughs> so this is definitely gonna be better and you know when I'm in the staging lanes I can just reach over you know and um, start the log or make a quick adjustment if I need to it's it's right there so yeah I kind of like it it's uh give you guys like a view from the other side. It uh, kind of looks like that. Got 
kind of makes it look like a cop car. So anyway, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and paint it. Probably not gonna show that. I'm just gonna hit it with some uh, black, flat black. You know, hit it with some primer and then some flat black just to kind of make it blend in a little bit. I don't really want it to be that noticeable, so. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy the way it came out. And then, uh, you know, it just, the USB plugs in right here. And that's it. Real simple. And it gives me this space over here where I can, you know, sit over here too and actually mess with it if I wanted to. So, all right guys, I just wanted to show you guys this little project. I've been wanting to do this. Um, I seen somebody do this years ago in a, uh, a grudge car um, where he had, had his laptop mounted. Actually, he had it more up, up higher and closer to the driver so he could like be right on top of the laptop. So, but that was uh, a few years ago and I know things have gotten a lot better now with, uh, like I know, I know Haltech has a uh, internal logging capability. So you can log in the uh, Haltech and then when you're done, then you hook your laptop up and it downloads it. But the ECU master, it's a little more budget friendly, but you have to use your own computer to log. And like with tuning and you know, racing and stuff like that, logging is the most important thing. It's, uh, you know, it's the only way to do it. So, and the more data you can get, like the more different sensors you can hook up, the better to see what's going on, like wheel speed, um, vehicle speed, uh, you name it. Whatever you can log, EGTs, anything, it's, it's good to do. So anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And um, like I said in the last one, we're, I'll be getting to the dyno soon. Uh, that was just yesterday I made that video. So uh, it's gonna take me a little time to find someone and, and make time to go do it. I don't even know um, like what their schedule is. I don't know if they're backed up or if because of this virus thing they're, they're, they're not busy. I don't know. I haven't called yet. So, but anyway, check y'all later.